Fair dinkum, ye blokes are like circling vultures hoping to pick at yet another carcass felled by a populist bandwagon. But have any of yous actually stopped to consider what the NRA does for America? Unlike other major organisations or even religious institutions, the NRA doesn't discriminate, as not only do they support the handful of those who own guns for legitimate reasons, they also support the delusional, who embrace antiquated doctrine as rationale in keeping their military-style weapons just in case their 21st century democracy somehow crumbles into an 18th century autocracy. Although China, Russia, North Korea and pretty much the entire Middle East would jump at the chance of supplying these blokes with weapons to overthrow their government, could you imagine the conflict that these patriots would feel in having no choice but in accepting these guns? The NRA cares about those suffering personality disorders as it recognises the therapeutic value of a loaded gun, as the perceived empowerment it imparts can artificially boost the self-worth of even the most pathetic of losers. This includes the cowering minority of Americans who suffer a form of paranoia that is so severe that they believe they need a gun solely for self-protection. And even though this, again, probably has more to do with poor self-esteem issues than actual cowardice, the NRA doesn't judge. It supports these people, even in the face of statistics that show they are more likely to shoot themselves or those they bought the gun to protect in the first place than any actual intruder. See, the NRA doesn't care about statistics, especially when they indicate that the less educated you are, the more likely you are to own a gun. Because, statistically speaking, statisticians don't own guns. As gun ownership in a democracy in the 21st century becomes more difficult to justify, the NRA battles on against the odds, defending the rights of Americans with only guts, determination and millions in funding from firearm manufacturers. So, next time you visit a gun expo, don't just focus on the Uzis, don't just focus on the handguns or the paramilitary style rifles. Look into the faces of the people around you and you'll soon realise guns don't kill people, diabetes and heart disease kills people.